Welcome to the third screencast on practicing multiple integrals and in this screencast I want to consider an example of volume. And here's a typical kind of question. You're asked to find the volume of the region bounded by a certain certain geometrical constraints, namely an elliptic paraboloid and by this equation and then a set of planes x equal naught, x equal 2, y equal naught, y equal 2, and z equal naught. So how do you approach this problem? Well, the first thing is that even though it doesn't explicitly say sketch the region, you'd be crazy not to uh, get out a bit of paper and figure out what this region looks like. So let's do that over here. Now, this is not going to be to scale, but uh, that won't matter in terms of understanding what it is the region looks like. So this will be my x, y, and z axes. And the easy bits are these planes, so let's just do them. So the x equals 0 plane is this plane in the back. That's x equals 0. I won't label it, but uh, you know, that's x equals 0. y equals 0 is this plane here. z equals 0, of course, is the, the floor here. Then um, we have x equal 2. So that's 0. This is 2. So I'm not very straight up and down on that here. Let's fix that a little bit. So this will be the, I'll take that to be at x equal 2. Then I can take that at y equal 2. So I won't label them all this. Um, this front plate fa face is x equal 2. The side face is y equal 2. And the ones I already labeled. So that's all of them. That's all of my planes. And then that just leaves what is going to then be the, the, the top of the, the region I have to find the volume of. And that's going to be given by this. And what is that going to look like? Well, it's going to be we can see when y is equal to 0, let's do it over here, uh, y equals 0 is going to give me, what is it going to give me? It's going to give me z is equal to 16 minus x squared. Uh, and in fact, I should say when x equal y equals 0, uh, z is 16. So this this plot is not to scale. So this this point here, this red point, which I'm highlighting there, that's it. And z is equal to 16. So that's um, obviously not the same scale as my my 2 in x and my 2 in y here, but let's not worry about that. I just want to get a sense of what the, the, the basic orientation of everything is. Anyway, so long, so when y is equal to 0, I have some some uh, downward parabola over here along the y equals 0 uh, face of a uh, uh, plane, and um, you can do the same thing when x equals 0. What is it when x is equal to 0? I'm going to have z is equal to 16 minus 2y squared, and so I'll have a uh, steeper. So it's going to come down more in this back plane. That's, I'm looking at the back face there. Anyway, so it's some um, some region here. And again, not to scale, but there's some surface there. It's a, a little section of this, uh, this elliptic parabola. The volume in question is what's under under that curve because it's between it's between the z, z equals 0 and this paraboloid. So that'll be between the, the plane, z equals 0, and, and, and the, 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 red, uh, the red surface, so, and bounded by these other planes. Hopefully I said that all right. Anyway, so that's the volume I want um, to compute. So as I said, that's where you need to start. You need to figure out, I think, some intuition about it rather than just starting to write down integrals. But uh, hopefully at this point, then you can see what I the, the volume b, I'll just call it b, is going to be given by a double integral over the natural thing is this rectangle, the the, the, the bottom, um, you know, the the x y um, rectangle. Let me just go ahead and write it. The rectangle is going to be x is uh, from naught to two, and y is from naught to two. And then what I'm going to integrate is height. Let me just actually say it in word, height, and that'll be times a. Okay, and again, the reason it's height is. Um, because I started uh, z equals 0 and I go up to that. So that'll be the height z. So all we have to do is I'll be more explicit about that. That is to say it'll be z, but z is 16 minus x squared minus 2y squared dA. All right, so that's it. Really the, the, the main thing I want to communicate, which is setting up the problem. Given this kind of geometrical description, you need to formulate it as a double integral and then you proceed to evaluate it by repeated integration. So I will do this quickly. It's, it's, it's not difficult integration, so let's just go ahead and do it. So this will be equal to, it's not going to matter at all which one we put on the outside. In fact, the limits are going to look the same. 16 minus x squared minus 2y. I'll 
Let's put X on the inside. Now, oh, I want to I want to stress something here at this point. Don't confuse this. This is this is, does not separate. This is not a product of X and Y. It's a sum of uh, uh, X and Y, but it is not a product. This does not separate, as you see, as as I start to do this inner integral. So again, I'm I'm now going to bring down the outer one for the uh, for the ride. It's still out here, and I'm going to do this inner integral, and I'm going to have a 16 with respect to X. That's so going to give me a 16X minus X cubed over three minus two X. Oh, that's a y squared, sorry, minus y squared x. Okay, and that's going to be evaluated from not to 2. And uh, actually, I think I'm just going to continue over here for the moment. Uh, let's do this quickly. Integral from 0 to 2 of uh, 32 minus 8 thirds minus 4y squared. I'm going to forget the squares on the y's and dy. So I'm finished with the inner integral, the x integral. I now have to, oh, it's be convenient to combine that. Um, I happen to know that that is 88 over 3. <laughs> I'll leave it for you to obviously check that. I'm now going to integrate this with respect to y, so that is going to give me my 88 over 3 y minus 4 y cubed over 3 evaluated all between 0 and 2, and the answer will be 48. And there you go. So uh, again, just to repeat, it's it's geometry, or you know, the integral and the integration was easy. It's it's about getting the geometry right, understanding what it is, setting up the problem right, and then you just proceed with uh, with your uh, relatively straightforward in this case repeated integration.